morning everyone it is 9 a.m. and I thought I would vlog because I'm a bit early to my meeting today so um, I've got a few meetings today I don't know how interesting this day will be but come along with me and I hope you enjoy it okay wow I suck at this um, it's 11 a.m. I forgot to film anything that I've done in the last two hours um, I went to a meeting which was really really good and then I've just sat in a cafe had some delicious breakfast um, and have been working for the last hour and now I'm off to go to the bookstore to get some books um, of my journey starts here because uh, I don't have any copies left and I need to give them to a couple of people so I'm gonna go buy some of those uh, and then I've got therapy so um, yeah I'll check in with you soon So I've just got to the mall, I've gone and got some of our books, which is awesome. There's only one left in the shop, which is crazy. Um, but I'm just gonna do some work from the mall before I go to my psych appointment, emails and stuff. So yay! Look at them, I got three because I need to get a couple for a couple of friends that I've run out. So it's super exciting. I'm just finding designs for our next clothing range. Um, so just kind of looking at styles that I like, um, quotes that I like, etc. So this is really fun, I love doing this. Okay, I am finished. Oh, I just had my knee at the mall. Um, I was there for like an hour just doing some work and got the books, which is exciting. And now I'm off to my psychologist appointment and I actually got one of these books for my psychologist. Where are they? Um, I felt bad buying like two out of the three last ones. Um, three out of the four last ones. Uh, but... Oh, this one's signed. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so this is obviously our journal, or for those who don't know, this is our journal Jazz and I did together. Um, and it's actually dedicated to two people, um, Esther and Hilary. And Hilary is my psychologist, and so I'm about to give him a copy of the book. And he's seen it once, but I didn't have a copy to give him last time, because it was like, I don't even give him one copy, and I obviously want it to keep it. So um, I'm really excited to give it to him, and I'm going to sign it. Probably not that one, because it's signed. I'll give that to someone else. Um, but yeah, I'll give him this copy and I'll sign it um, in the front. Uh, and it's so cool because a lot of the activities in here, um, all my activities that I put in, came from him and his expertise and knowledge and challenges and things that we did together. So massive shout out to my psych. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I see my psychologist about like once every four months. Um, just because I feel very lucky to be able to do that and stuff always comes up and it's really good to chat to him about things that happen in day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't think, well I, I know you don't have to be sick to go and see a psychologist. I know lots of people that go and talk to someone because talking is good and so I really encourage it. But yeah, I'm really lucky to be able to go and do that. And especially with the job that I have, you know, it can be quite heavy work and so being able to go and talk to someone about stuff like that is important. So, what calls New Zealand, go get some books. Um, actually you can't because there's none left yet, but there will be more soon. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go see my psychologist and I'll see you soon. I am walking down the street and people are probably gonna think I'm crazy talking to myself, um, but I have just finished my psychologist and it went really well. I can fill you guys in later, um, but I am rushing to another meeting in the city now. Um, so I've gotta go and do that. What a beautiful day it is. How good, oh you can't even really see it. There we are, beautiful, beautiful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. I got home from my last meeting a little while ago after um, my meeting I went to work to the cafe which you guys saw and had the most delicious, delicious, delicious Afghan. Um, but I'm home now and I'm taking the recycling out. Not that fun. Um, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. These are the boxes of stuff that we need to go through and make like a donate pile, a get rid of pile, some of it's got like rips and can't be reused, and then also a sell pile. So we are gonna do that um, now. We're just putting a nail up, that one's too low, so that we can hang clothes up to take photos of them. Fun fact, I wore that dress for an audition. Yeah. Taking a pit stop to order dinner. I'm smudging mascara all over my eyes. Say hi, Izzy. He's fed up with me. <laughs> we are done, which is so good. We've been wanting to do this for ages and just haven't. And we have like three bags like this full of clothes to donate and also some that we're selling that little box down there. So yay, it's done. These are all being donated. Oh. I've got my sacks of clothes and I'm just gonna put them in the garage so that I don't have to look at them for a while because they're taking up way too much room in my bedroom. Um, wow, the garage is a tip. Okay, we're gonna put these right down here. 
Also, during that process, we ordered Uber Eats for dinner because none of us can be bothered cooking. So we've got Uber Eats on the way, which will be delicious. Um, and now I've just got to upload these to Instagram and make an Instagram account to sell them on. So I shall do that probably now. I just had a delicious Uber Eats bowl and I've eaten it all and forgot to film any of it. But it's yum. I've got rice stuck to my shin. Isaac's dragging me out on an adventure to get his new golf clubs. I just had Uber Eats, but I'm hungry, so I'm eating a banana. Well, I felt like a banana. I'm not necessarily hungry, but I'm craving it, and so I'm gonna listen to my cravings. Isaac's just left me in the car while he goes and picks up some stuff for his friend. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to explain why I still see a psychologist. Um, so I see my psych, like I said, like once every kind of like three, four months. Um, he's been the same psychologist I've had since I was like in the psych ward. That's where I met him originally. Um, and so he knows like my whole story. He's been there with me through my whole journey. He knows what works for me, what doesn't work for me. So I'm very, very lucky to have that relationship. Um, with my psychologist, uh, it took time finding the right one. I went through a few other people before I did find him, but I did, and I'm really happy to. Um, and so, although I'm not unwell anymore, um, I still find it really helpful going to the psychologist and talking about things that are happening in my life, um, whether that's work things or personal things or family things or just life things. Um, and I'm really a big believer, like in the problem shared, problem hard sort of thing. So when you share it with someone, um, it is this like big release of like actually I'm not the only one sitting with this information in my head, like someone else is helping me out here. Um, and I know what I need to do, like I often say how I'm feeling and I'm like, I know I need to do this because I've learned so many tools throughout my recovery. But he always comes up with like genius things and ways to challenge myself. And so um, I find it really beneficial and it's quite cool to be able to go there now and it not be focused on what it was for so many years, like talking about food and talking about my OCD and all that, like it's very much life stuff now. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful that I can do that because um, I know many people don't have the luxury of going to see a private psychologist um, and so I'm very very grateful for that and we'll keep fighting to make sure that people get the love and support that they need to get through recovery. But I'm having some jaku cake because delicious and I wanted something sweet and I was supposed to get chocolate when I was out but I didn't. Mm. So I did it hard because it's been in the um, fridge you know and I was moist as it was. I oh, that's playing with his golf clubs. I also just spoke to my grandma. I love her. Gave her a call. She loves phone calls. It's not the same as getting a text. She loves a call. Apologies for the terrible lighting and these massive lights up here. Um, but I had to show you this because I was just plugging this in. I went to a meeting and I commented on someone's extension cord because it's a giraffe one. And they let me take her home. So I went to a meeting and came home with an extension cord and I'm not even mad about it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna plug my phone in. It's not very exciting, but I wanna show you this because it's awesome. Abby and I are off to bed now. I actually have to spend some time looking for a scene. I do acting classes once a week and I need to find a scene for me and my friend to do together. So I'm gonna hunt for one of those now. In bed with Abby. She's tired, she's sleeping all the time. She's getting really old. I am gonna end today's video here. Thank you so much for spending the day with me, guys. Um, I hope you found it somewhat interesting. Um, like I've said before, you know, I feel very lucky all my days are very different depending on what's happening. Um, you know, no day's the same, which is awesome. And I feel very lucky to do the work I do. Um, and so I'm just gonna lie in bed. It's 9.23, not to be specific or anything. Um, and I'm just gonna do um, some work. I need to find a scene, not work. I need to find a scene for my acting class. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then head to bed. So thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.